everybody trying to be a victim. Like, what's this girl, uh, Meghan Markle? Oh, seemed like a nice lady. Just complaining. I was like, did she hit the light skin lottery? <laughs> light skin lottery and still going on complaining acting all dumb like she don't know nothing going on Oprah I didn't know so racist is so racist some of that shit she went through was not racism it was just some in-law shit sometimes it's just some in-law shit cause she's complaining I'm like what the fuck is so racist they want to know how brown the baby's gonna be I'm like that's not racist cause even black people wanna know Look, it's not useful at all to continue to perpetually victimize yourself. I'm not a victim, but certainly the British press will have you believe that. You could become a bloody tyrant, you know? I don't want to be a tyrant, just a king. Ha, well, well, that's pretty obvious, you know? I mean, who wouldn't want that? You need to work on being more open and conscientious. Don't you mean unconscious? No, conscientiousness. No, unconscious bias. That's not what you mean. I didn't say that at all. Conscientiousness. What I'm hearing is unconscious bias. No. Maybe you should just try standing up straight with your shoulders back. It could help. That's what lobsters do. Why do you bring up lobsters? It's because I'm a ginger? Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Well, no. The tone in which you speak to me is very hurtful. Okay, yeah. So you're hurt. Well, you know what? Everyone is. Not like us. Wouldn't you agree with that? <sighs> to that, I would say... No. It's hurtful. My God. Buckingham Palace is not commenting at all on this, which is why I think it's perhaps quite surprising, or maybe not, that the Sussex team have decided to come out and confirm these stories at this particular time. Um, effectively, it means that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are no longer going to have a home in the United Kingdom. It was a gift from the Queen following their wedding in 2018. £2.4 million of our money, taxpayers' money, was spent renovating it. When they stepped back as working members of the royal family, Harry and Meghan did actually pay back that fund. But I think what's interesting here is the timing of when the King reportedly decided to ask Harry and Meghan to vacate the property. According to The Sun, it happens the day after Harry's memoir was released, when obviously there were uh, many criticisms of members of the royal family. And I think it was perhaps the final nail in the coffin uh, in terms of a uh, number of grenades that have been thrown against the royal family by Harry and Meghan. We've had Oprah, then we had the Netflix series uh, and various interviews promoting this particular uh, Netflix, uh, sorry, particular memoir. So clearly I think it shows the state of relations with the royal family. Uh, and the fact that it's coming out now, even though presumably they've known about it for quite some time, is this, there's a suggestion perhaps that they've had a couple of quiet weeks, their popularity is dipping, perhaps they're putting this back in the public domain to garner sympathy? Well, perhaps it's interesting, isn't it? Because Harry and Meghan have constantly made maintained they want privacy and they want to perhaps control the narrative of what's being said. Uh, but then they've put themselves back on the front pages this morning in the United Kingdom, again distracting from um, perhaps some would see as a worthy cause from a Queen Consort World Book Day, which perhaps we'll come on to later. Um, but clearly I think the other problem, as I suppose here, is that the King has reportedly um, offered Frogmore Cottage to Prince Andrew in a cost-cutting measure because he lives in Royal Lodge, this massive mansion at the moment. The King's reportedly cutting his 250 grand annual allowance, which means he can no longer afford the upkeep of Royal Lodge. So, oh, in the King's perspective... Royal Lodge then? I thought perhaps the um, Prince and Princess of Wales might be eyeing it up because they reportedly think that uh, where they're staying, what's the name of it? Um, Adelaide it's Cottage. Adelaide Cottage is yeah. a bit pokey. Yeah, well, perhaps it is a very small cottage, very close to Frogmore, actually, um, funnily enough. But you, you, you're right. I, th I, th I think um, the, the, uh, the, Harry, the Prince and Princess of Wales clearly are going to want a bigger property. Mm -hmm. But it's all within the guarded perimeter of the Windsor estate. Mm -hmm. So Harry, as we know, is currently in a legal battle with the Home Office over their decision not to allow him to pay for his own police protection when he's in the UK. He lost that security when uh, he stepped back as a working member of the royal family. So from Harry and Meghan's perspective, Frogmore Cottage was the only place within the United Kingdom where they had guaranteed security, which clearly 
it, it, it appears, is now going to be taken away. And, and their unofficial spokesperson, Omid Scobie, tweeting that yesterday, saying that it was cruel and this was the only place that they, they felt safe in the UK. But just on the point of the timing and, and relating it to the release of the book Spare, during the widespread publicity that, that Prince Harry did, he talked about hoping for reconciliation. Essentially what he meant by that was he wanted an apology before he would come to the coronation. Role reversal. It's no secret that the time the stupid wife had spent in the royal family was really all an act. As soon as she got the ring on her finger and that ink dried, the mask dropped and she was out, back to California. The photos on the wall behind them actually tell that story. When the stupid wife was dating and getting to the place where she was about to walk down the aisle as well as shortly after it, you notice these really uncomfortable stares of looking lovingly and attentively, but creepy, clearly as you can see in this picture on the left. Now with the South Park picture, the dynamics has shifted. Please tell me, how many of you have seen the stupid wife look at her dumb husband the way that she used to look at him back in the day when she was pretending to be a royal? You don't. Now it's the dumb prince who is looking at his stupid wife as if she's some kind of prize. I ask the question, who's the trapped one now? Guys, I can't thank you enough for watching and for being here. It really means the world to me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I have lots more videos coming out, so check back lots if you want to further support the show. I do have merch available. Recollections may vary. Make it make sense. You know all that stuff. Also, we have Patreon, patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recast, where you can become an executive producer and get a shout out in a video very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.